paper. Take a look at it. But if you want to start a business, oh my. What's up, guys? Politics Gaming here, and today we are going to start a new series um, in which that I play as one of the major powers. I've been playing smaller countries. My first one is Turkey, the second one is Kazakhstan, and now I'm going to start a third one where I'm going to play as the Russian Federation. Um, I have not been posting in a while, and um, I've just been on a uh, on a sort of a hiatus. And, um, I do apologize for that, um, but if you guys can just bear with me and, uh, uh, just support me in any way you can, um, I would really appreciate that. But, um, anyway, let's get down to it. Um, what we're really gonna do in this first episode is we're gonna set a couple things and, uh, make Russia great again. Haha. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> Um, so what we are going to do is that we are going to lower a few taxes. Um, which one are we doing? Let's go ahead and lower that company tax. 0.5, that's good. And, um... Declare a tax amnesty. No. What are we doing? Um, and then um, on the sidelines, we can also intensify the air war on uh, ISIS and support um, Syria. Hopefully, I'm going to see if I can try to get ground troops involved in that. Help out the Syrians. Mm, let's check that electoral map. Ah. We now have an electoral map. And then we're also... Probably gonna try to see if we can stage. Um, we're, we're gonna be messing with Ukraine this entire time. Um, maybe Georgia too. Also, and we're also gonna keep a commitment to our allies such as Azerbaijan and Armenia. And um, maybe we can uh, mess with places like Estonia too. Um, we also want to increase relations with China and um, start getting good with places such as Mexico, maybe increased relations with the United States, and um, especially Germany. We want to start striking some good trade deals with Germany because we do have an oil pipeline that goes from there. Okay, um, what are we doing now? We are going to... Okay, we're going to reduce spending. We're going to get rid of the National Service. That will relieve us of about $19 billion. And reduce our deficit by about 1%. That's good. Watch. Public finances just went up. And, um... Looks like we have good relations with India. Maybe we can get an oil pipeline to go from here all the way down into China. And then into India and Pakistan. Then we can deliver um, oil to India, become good um, good economic allies with them. Um, maybe we can build a pipeline from all the way here, all the way into Africa. Maybe in the Middle East, we can uh, transfer oil to Syria. I don't think they have any oil. Um, any strategic allies that we would need in the Middle East? Uh, no. Then maybe, well, we got protests. Okay, let's go ahead and do what they say. Let's, uh, 
increase teachers. And then let's skip a day. Young people. And then we are all <coughs> Let's go ahead and uh, put that at 10,000. We're going to go ahead and fix those houses. And we're also going to, no, not that. We're also going to make, establish a monthly rent allowance. So let's go ahead and put that at about $10. And then we're going to have to talk to the party about that. Let's go ahead and do that. Meeting for coffee, I'd be glass of champagne, tell her she's charming. That's your militants, blah blah blah. Offer her it's mesh all. Okay, let's look at this. She's very corrupt. Let's go ahead and offer mm. her a bribe. Mm. Be more precise. One hundred and twenty-eight thousand. Mm. Always, you always have to make sure they. Uh, Okay. You're taking advantage of the situation. Right. No problem. Okay. And ask you're as her. deadpan as always. What post would you propose for me? Uh, foreign affairs. That would be a great. We seem to have covered. All right. Yeah. Let's wait one or two days, and then if not, then we'll, um, put a bill in. No, they're still there. Bad figures for unemployment, we're gonna have to start tackling unemployment, we're gonna have to look at that. For the moment, we have the sit- No. Okay, let's go ahead and pass a bill. Employer. Okay, point eight. Let's go ahead and do that. Eighty percent. So let's see what you guys think. Come on, come on. Situation. The moves. movement seems to be blowing its. Okay, so we're going. We're good. I'll give you a quick up. Starting to go away. No, there's only 115 people there. Foreigners are a threat. The mayor country is not a shelter for foreigners, and you should expatriate them before we become a minority in our own country. Wait, 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 wait. Pause that. It's a slight reduction. Our fellow Survey report company tax of my employees. Population report shows a deep popular resentment by Mr. President. Population finds that tax exemptions granted to businesses are very unfair given the fact. That they're already paying a lot of tax this clearly displeases the vast majority. So we're gonna have to probably introduce a tax cut for uh, our citizens. The movement seems to be. The bill has. So he's talking about the force right there. Maybe the bill the has been find a hot mistress. Um, <laughs> let's. Oh, let's go ahead and check a couple things. We need to check poverty. We need to check population growth. Yeah, Russia isn't that uh, popular. Maybe we can close our borders, build a wall. You know, they are building a wall, like, all along this border right here. 
Oh yeah. We also may want to start supporting um, those rebels right there. So what we are going to do is that we are going to secret service, manage networks. Do we have any in Ukraine? Yeah, we do. Okay, approach terrorist groups. Let's take out any that we don't need. We don't need any in France, Germany, or Canada. Don't need any in Japan. Blah, blah. None in Israel. None there. None there. None there. Maybe we can keep a couple in Turkey. Let's increase those to 30. And let's keep them in the United Kingdom and the United States. Check our energy policy too. Hold on. It's hydraulic, nuclear, um, consumption, production, so we're good on that. And then let's also check this population, uh, birth rate, Niger. United States, so we're on par with you know United Kingdom. No, not the United Kingdom. United States, somewhat. We're behind China, and then obviously we're going to work on increasing our GDP per capita and life expectancy. That's probably going to start going up after a while. Whew. We're also going to uh, focus on uh, making more freedoms for our people, or maybe we can just become a state totalitarian state, um, depending on how I want to do this gameplay. And then uh, maybe we can. Uh, we can play the. I think uh, it would be good to play this all the way to the 2018 election, and then we can see if I if I win, then I may go ahead and continue. But if I lose, I don't know. Okay, we're good. We have uh, the use of referendums. Then we're going to have to uh, tackle our debt. That's going to be very important. We're going to have to, oh yeah, definitely. We're going to have to talk to our lenders. France is charging us 13% interest rate, $80 billion. Japan, maybe that that's somewhat acceptable. Oh god, we're going to have to talk to the United States. Alright, um, we got a basic overview about what we gotta do, and we have a lot, like, we have a lot of problems that we need to tackle, um, as Russia, and, uh, I hope this, uh, goes well, because this, uh, seems like it will be a just as fun as Turkey. Um, if you guys like this, go ahead and, um, like and subscribe, and, uh, go ahead and support me on Patreon, um, I'll put that link in the description, and I'll see you guys next time. Alright, take care guys. <laughs>